Good day everyone. We are now in the topic of evaluating functions. Let's try to evaluate function using this example. Our first example is f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 1. a f of negative 3 b f of 8 and c f of x plus 1. So let's try to solve each no, given excess in our example. So let's try to solve the letter A. Let's re rewrite first. We have f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 1 if the given value of x is negative 3. It is very important to know or identify what is the given value of x before solving the or before evaluating the function. Okay, so feel free to solve this one. If you know how to solve now already, just pause the video and try to solve this one on your paper. Okay, so now let's try to check if you got the correct answer. What you are going to do next is to substitute the given value of x into our function. Okay, the value of x here for the letter a is negative 3. So this negative 3 will be substitute in our given function the excess of our given function okay we substitute negative 3 to all the excess of our given function so we have now f of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 squared plus 5 times negative 3 minus 1 after substituting let's try to simplify Let's try to simplify. Um, f of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 squared. Or we can um, do this as negative 3 times negative 3. So we have our 9. And then 5 minus 3, we have negative 15. And then bring down lang the 1. Okay? After this one, just do uh, the addition and subtraction we have now 9 minus 15 is equal to negative 6 minus 1 we have negative 7 so therefore our answer for this problem is negative 7 f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 1 if our x is negative 3, we will have the answer of negative 7. Okay? So let's try to solve the letter B. This is the letter B. f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 1. If the value of x is equal to 8. Let's try to evaluate. Now, your turn. You can pause the video and then evaluate the given function. Okay, let's try to find out if you get the correct solution. Again, the same process. If you have identified the given x in the example, do the substitution. So substitute the value of x which is 8 to the excess of the given function so you have now f of 8 is equal to 8 squared plus 5 times 8 minus 1 okay and then simplify 8 squared or we can say that this is 8 times 8 is equal to 64 plus 5 times 8 which is 40 bring down the 1 so you have now f of 8 is equal to 64 plus 40 minus 1 and then do the addition and subtraction 
64 plus 40, we have 104. Minus 1 is equal to 103. So therefore, 8, uh, f of 8 is equal to 103. Now, let's proceed to the letter C. Okay, this is our letter C. F of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 1. If the value of x is equal to x plus 1. So what you are going to do is the same process. We already know the value of x and the value of x is x plus 1. So now let's try to sim uh, substitute the value of x to our x's. We have now f of x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 squared. Substitute na to, see? We substitute the x plus 1 no? in our x. So you have now x plus 1 squared plus 5 times the quantity of x plus 1 minus 1. Then, then simplify first the exponent. You have now x plus 1 squared that is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 1. Then bring down lang the 5 times the quantity of x plus 1 and minus 1. After this one, we have now need to use the FOIL method to solve the um, x plus 1 times x plus 1. Using the FOIL method, we have um, the f first. We need to multiply uh, x times x. x times x. So we have x squared. And then FOIL method first outside or outer so we have x plus 1 and then we have now the x after that one so you need to solve for the inner which is the 1 so x plus uh, x times y uh, uh, sorry 1 1 times x we have x and then the last 1 times 1 we have 1 so therefore we have now x squared plus x plus x plus 1 and then for the next is 5 distribute long using the distributive property 5x uh, 5 times x you have 5x and then 5 times 1 you have 5 then bring down the 1 negative 1 Okay, so after this one, solve, combine like terms, we have now the answer. Since x squared has no partner, just bring down and then x plus x, 2x plus napaisa plus 5x, we have 7x. And then add the constant numbers. So 1 plus 5, 6, minus 1, 5. So we have the final answer of x squared plus 7x plus 5. So that's all. And I hope you learned something. And goodbye.